I've been coding for over three years and I wish someone told me these three things before I wasted years making every mistake possible. If you are stuck, overwhelmed or feeling lost, let me save you three plus years right now. One of the biggest things I've learned is that everything is figure outable if you break it down. When I first started coding, I thought every difficulty I faced meant I just wasn't good enough. I'd run into an error or a project that felt impossible and my brain would jump straight to this doesn't work, I don't get it, maybe I should just quit. The problem wasn't the actual problem, it was how I looked at it. Or better said, I didn't know how to approach it the right way. Instead of breaking things down, I saw the whole mess as one giant wall impossible to climb. The truth is, every problem in coding can be broken into smaller solvable parts. You might be struggling to even know where to start learning, or maybe you're stuck on one feature in your app, sometimes it's multiple issues hitting you at once, but in every case you can still move forward. Just ask yourself, okay, if I were to solve this, what would need to happen and what's the very first step? That simple question will get you started. Maybe you need to ask someone with more experience, maybe you need to give AI or Google more context so the answer you get is actually useful, maybe you just need a better tutorial or simply a better place to look for the solution. When you look at it that way, you stop seeing the situation as one giant impossible problem and you start seeing it as a collection of smaller problems you can actually solve. And over time, this process becomes natural. Even years later, you'll still run into new challenges, but you'll know that everything is figure outable. You can figure everything out as long as you focus on breaking it down. The second lesson is about focusing on getting good at one thing. When you're starting out, it's easy to get distracted. Web development looks interesting, so does mobile, then you hear about game development, data science, DevOps, and suddenly you feel like you need to learn a little bit of everything just to keep your options open. That's exactly what I did and it was a mistake. Because when you try to learn too many things at once, it's very unlikely you'll get good at any of them. What I wish I knew earlier is that you should just pick one stack and stick with it. Choose one area you're excited about, like web development mobile apps or whatever and commit to it. From there build applications only in that stack. Everything you learn should be tied to it too. When you do that you'll start repeating what you already know while layering in new concepts each time. That repetition compounds your knowledge and makes you grow way faster. But if you keep bouncing between stacks it's like pressing reset over and over. You never get far enough to actually connect the dots. And you definitely can become the best full stack developer, UI designer, data scientist and DevOps engineer all at once, especially not as a beginner. Thinking about it logically, your best chance of making real progress is to put all your attention in one direction. So give yourself that chance, pick one lane, go deep and stick with it long enough for things to click. The third lesson is a bit different but it's just as important for your learning process. You only really know something when you you can explain it to someone else. Here's what I mean. There were so many times I thought I understood the concept, whatever it was, but then I'd try to explain it to someone else or in a tutorial later on and suddenly I couldn't finish the explanation or make it make sense. That's when I realized I didn't actually understand it as well as I thought. When I hit those gaps, I had to go back, study the concept more deeply and then re-record the explanation if it was for a YouTube video. You've probably experience this yourself too. Someone asks you about something you think you know really well, but then you find yourself struggling to explain it. You don't need to start a YouTube channel like me obviously, don't need any more competition, bad enough as it is, but you can do the same thing in other ways. Find a friend and ask each other things you don't know. This will force you to explain things to each other. You can learn with people inside the community, like .NET Squad for example, I don't know, just, just a thought, link in description, just saying. Or even the very straight version, just talk through the code out loud to yourself, like a crazy person, but you're doing it for a good reason, still when no one's around obviously. If you can explain it clearly, that's when you know you've really got it. 
This whole explaining things concept has massively helped me go deep into details and find blind spots I didn't know I had along the way. I believe that if you apply even one of these approaches discussed in the video, you'll save yourself months, if not years of wasted effort. Another massive way to accelerate your learning is by following a roadmap so you know exactly what to focus on. I've made a video explaining that, it's on the screen now, so click on it and I'll see you there.